cutting up traffic at crazy amounts of speeds. That's why I don't push my limits on every single highway entrance. Fully legal to lane split. And I don't even be lane splitting that crazy. It's people doing crazy stuff on the streets. Never copy others. Ride your own ride. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about why you should always ride within your own limits. First things first, it's cold start time. Oh yeah. Check out the little bits of carbon I added on the bike recently. Come on now. We're gonna get the full carbon frame and the full carbon tail soon enough. Oh yeah. It's an amazing day outside today. It's kind of hot outside actually. I was not expecting it to be this hot. I'm already sweating because I got a jacket on. But hey, no worries, no worries. Better safe than sorry. And that leads me in perfectly for the topic of the video today. As you guys seen by the intro, title, thumbnail, everything, we're going to talk a little bit about why you should ride within your limits. I feel like a lot of people these days, especially the newer generation who are trying to get into motorcycles, are influenced by the wrong people. No hate, and I'm not going to call out any names of people who I think are not influencing them pro properly, but I do think that a lot of the motorcycle content out there has become too saturated with people riding way too crazy. It's gone to the point that creators are literally risking their lives to get a viral video. Like cutting up traffic at crazy amounts of speeds, doing crazy things just to get a viral video. And the question is, is it really worth it? Is it really worth it for that viral video? Is it really worth it to risk your own life? I don't know, but let's discuss it. As creators, we have a responsibility to the people watching us, to the next generation, to everyone who we're putting out content for, to make sure that we're not promoting the wrong stuff. A lot of the people watching videos of motorcycles are little kids who want motorcycles. And I can vouch for that. Because I was that little kid who used to watch motor vlogs and people riding motorcycles before I had one myself. Oh, watch this, watch this, no lean angle. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, knee drag, knee drag on him, psych, I ain't dragging knee on the road even if I could, not saying that I can, I'm gonna be getting another bike eventually and using it just for track use, but for now, we're not doing any of that, crazy business. Like I was saying, a lot of the people watching our content are people who want to get onto motorcycles for themselves. They want to get on the motorcycle for a bunch of different reasons. But the stuff that gets the most amount of crazy views is people doing crazy stuff on the streets. Either they're running from the cops, or they're cutting up traffic, or I don't know, they're doing something basically to endanger their whole life. And I get it. That's how the algorithm works. That's the stuff that people want to comment on. That's the stuff that gets views these days. But in my opinion, I want to be someone who's promoting y'all the right safe, not putting myself out there, not just for you guys, but I don't want to be risking my own life all the time and have to be thinking about, oh, I have to be riding crazy all the time in order to make content for you guys. That's why, shout out to all you guys who really support my content because it means a lot to me. The reason why I do this is to be able to express myself and videos like this where I just get to talk to you guys are my favorite. Especially as a beginner who wants to get onto a bike, you really need to make sure to ride within your own limits. I remember when I first got a bike, I've talked about this in my previous videos before, but I like to use myself as an example. I'm so glad that there wasn't a lot of motorcycle content out there before like that and it wasn't that popularized as it is now because I used to ride the bike just for fun. 
I used to ride with my homie just for fun, just because I love riding. And it wasn't anything about, I need to get a viral clip, I need to do this, I need to do that. One of the biggest parts is, I didn't ride with huge groups. I never really knew that many people who had motorcycles, so I didn't ride with huge groups often. And that was a really good thing, because it made me realize that riding with big groups is way more dangerous than you think it is. When you're riding with a big group, you get caught up in trying to keep up with other people, trying to show off to other people, and stuff goes wrong when you're riding with a huge group of motorcycles, because they look small, but these things are fast, man. Like, this R6 is probably faster than 90% of the cars on this street right now. And that's saying a lot. And then you get onto a 1,000cc bike, and that thing's probably faster than like 99% of the cars on the street right now. You gotta really make sure to ride within your own limits. My best advice would be when you start out riding, or when you're even thinking about riding, really think about how much experience you have on motorcycles. Do you have any experience riding motorcycles? Some people come from the dirt bike era, and if you're good on dirt bikes, you probably will be okay on a sport bike because the mechanics are pretty much the same. But that doesn't mean hop onto a 1,000cc bike instantly and start ripping it up and down the street. That means still take your time, get used to it. It's a fact out there that males don't develop their frontal lobe until way later. So if you're still young and you want to hop onto a 1,000cc bike, you got to make sure that you're mature enough for all that. When you do get that bike, you want to make sure to ride it slowly. Learn how to ride the bike first. Oh, what's going on here, man? This guy is merging into me. See, if I was zooming right there, there might have been a chance that he would have hit me because he was quite literally in the middle of the lane. Also, for all those people thinking that it's illegal to lane split, I'm in California, man. It's just fully legal to lane split, and I don't even be lane splitting that crazy. One of my recent shorts that I put up got people commenting like, oh yeah, it's called white lighting and it's dangerous and illegal. It is not that illegal here. Actually, it's not illegal at all here. Riding within your own limits really means that you have to know yourself. You have to know what you're capable of, know what you're not capable of, and take it easy. On the streets, you'd never even know what may happen. It might not even be your fault. That's why I don't push my limits on every single highway entrance and corner that I can. Because even if I could hit it harder, there might be gravel on the road, there might be something on the road, and it's just not worth it risking bringing myself down and then bringing the bike down too. I know a lot of people who push their limits right when they get onto the bike all the time, and I would recommend to not do that. I wanna be someone who's promoting you guys to ride safely and ride for fun and to enjoy riding, not just to ride to be crazy and ride to let out some sort of emotions or some sort of trauma that you've had. I still gotta make a video on downshifting and rev matching. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys want that. If I get enough comments on this video about rev matching and downshifting, I'll make a video on that next. This is all to say to ride within your own limits. Before you get a motorcycle, really think about it, really understand if the type of motorcycle you're getting is suitable for you and watch some videos watch videos like mine watch videos like other people who make unbiased videos on opinions on bikes i've made a couple videos on the yamaha r6 already about the review and if you should really get it and if it's worth as a beginner bike or not make sure to check those out and really understand if this is the bike that's suitable for you it looks really cool but it may not be a bike that's suitable for you you need to understand what bike is suitable for you there's different bikes for different sizes different speeds different everything so really understand that get to know yourself first depends on the type of experience honestly it's not your guys's fault like i started out this video by saying most of the influencers out there are the ones who are influencing the next generation to get onto crazy bikes like that and the truth behind that is a lot of these guys have a lot more experience than you will ever have to be able to ride like that, to be able to ride through traffic like that, to be able to do all these crazy stunts that they're doing. They've been riding motorcycles for a long time. I've been riding motorcycles for a long time myself and I cut up traffic sometimes. I don't put it on camera though, that's the thing. Because that's not something I'm trying to show you guys that it's a good thing to do. It's honestly not a good thing to do. Even I'd be endangering my life sometimes and I feel it and I'm like, wow, 
maybe I should slow down a little bit. The person, the influencer who you're watching, the reels that you're watching of people going crazy on their bikes all the time have a lot more experience than you do. And even if they don't have a lot more experience than you do, that doesn't mean you'll go out and copy them. You need to ride within your own limits and you need to understand what those limits are for you. Your limits and your level of experience is completely different than the next person up. Your life is completely different than the next person up. There's no point of copying others at all. This is what I mean when I say don't compare yourself to other people. Be the main character of your own story. That's, that's the motto of my whole life. That's what it says on the back of my hoodies. That's why I'm telling you guys to never copy others. Ride your own ride. Especially in group settings, it takes a lot of bravery and a lot of courage to be able to ride within your own limits. Because even I feel the need to go faster and keep up with other people when I'm riding with a lot of other people. But the whole point is to keep you safe. The whole point is for you to learn and be safe on the motorcycle. These things are very dangerous. That's the truth. And I would never want to see any of you guys go down. Moral of the story is, ride within your own limits. Don't try to copy others. Don't try to copy that person you see online. Don't even try to copy me. Be your own person and be genuine about it. The more genuine you are, the better friends you'll find, the more people you'll find out there who are just like you. I appreciate you guys for listening to me rant today. If you guys like these rants, let me know down below in the comments. I make sure to read all the comments. I make sure to reply to as many comments as I can. And let me know some other topics that you guys want me to talk about because I got a lot to say. I've been through a lot and I love sharing it with you guys. As always, make sure to love your own life first, chase your dreams, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.